hello, I am in the US of A. I have finally landed after three flights and 21 hours of traveling. We've made it, and so has my case, if you can see it in the background. Did not expect that to turn up. Yeah, I'm in my hotel room. She's a little bit bougie. I'm gonna show you it before I inevitably mess it all up. Yeah, basically I am in I am in Indianapolis for a conference. PhD things. Um, I'm actually presenting at this conference and this is the first conference that I've been to in real life where I'm presenting in real life at a conference in real life. And I'm terrified. I also haven't finished my slides yet, so I need to do that later. That is why I'm here in Indianapolis. I'm staying at the Westin Hotel. I'm gonna show you the room. I'm surprisingly feeling very awake for um, just having had three flights. Right, so you walk in and boom, corridor. Boom, suitcase that arrived. And then you walk up this long ass corridor. The floors are quite nice, aren't they? Lovely. And then you go, oh, I think that is the aircon. Yo, what are you doing? Can I like, yeah, just shut up a second. Here's the bathroom. Ooh, we love the tiling. We love the big mirror. And we love the sink. There's only one sink, which is weird. I thought there would be two. I feel like it's an American thing to have like two sinks. No, we've got the shower. This curtain, however, not so lovely. Through to the main bit. So two massive double beds. I'm actually sharing with someone, but they don't arrive until tomorrow night. So I have a whole day of this room to myself. Um, one of the other PhD students from our little PhD group in Edinburgh. I'm gonna be staying with her, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, bed, bed. I haven't decided what bed I'm gonna claim yet. Here's a wardrobe with um, wardrobe things. Here's like the desk area, which is quite nice. I've just been sitting here reading the terms and conditions, AKA applying to the Wi-Fi. And guys, there is mobile dining at this place. So I was kind of excited about that because I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a spoons. And then they've got all the coffee stuff. Oh, we've got the Bible, we don't need that. Um, and then there's this mirror. Cool, that is the room. For you guys who are not new around here, you'll know that I've been living in Japan for my PhD. I've been doing experiments and stuff over there. And I'm still living there after this trip. I am gonna be going back to Japan, but we're in Indianapolis for five nights and then we are going to Toronto for five nights for another conference. It's a conference filled week. It's my first time going to conferences in real life. I've been to like virtual conferences and I've presented at conferences virtually throughout the pandemic, but I've never presented in real life. So I am shitting my pants to say the least. It is a physics conference, fluid dynamics, all that nerdy stuff. I feel like I look better than I feel. I did actually get quite a lot of sleep on the flight, which never usually happens. I'm not one to sleep on flights, but that long haul flight was one of the best flights I've been on. Shout out to Japan Airlines. The food, immaculate. The like takeoff and landing, immaculate. Just the comfort in general, immaculate. And then we got into USA and I had an American Airlines flight. Not so good, but we won't talk about it. Right now it is like 1 p.m. Indianapolis time. I left Japan at 7 a.m. But Indianapolis is like way behind or ahead. But I think of it as behind because it's like a day behind, kind of. So basically right now it's supposed to be like three in the morning or something like that in Japan on Saturday, which is tomorrow. But it's actually 1 p.m. Friday. I don't know, time's confusing. It's like, I'm a time traveler, you know? I am gonna have a lie down, I think. I'm very tired. napped for four hours so there's that now it's night time and I've just been sorting some of my slides some of my expenses I'm gonna have a decaffeinated coffee because I think decaf coffee still has some coffee in it right I have a bit of a headache I think it's because I haven't had caffeine in over 24 hours so I'm gonna have a decaf and then just finish off my slides work on my script practice that and call it a day and then I think I'm gonna try and get up early tomorrow and go exploring Indianapolis before the other people get here <laughs> Yo, guys, I got real excited. It says non-dairy creamer, right? But then you look at the ingredients and it's like allergens, milk.
hello everyone not gonna lie i didn't move from this room today but i did just venture out into the big bad world of indianapolis and got me some food and i got this coke apparently this is mexican coke it's tasty from chipotle i got myself some chips and guac and i also got myself a fat burrito it was so fat that they had an absolute nightmare wrapping this thing and i think they ended up double wrapping it can you see how fat it is it smells so good i haven't had wraps or anything like that in two months since being in japan oh my god oh, that is so good it just kind of looks like a mess right now but i've got the sofritas cilantro rice black beans corn salsa green salsa fajita vegetables and guacamole they don't do jalapenos here which i thought was weird let's give guac a try Oh my god, that's so good. Guac on the burrito. Even though there is guac in the burrito, but I don't think I've gotten to that part yet. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hello, I have literally not had a chance to speak to the vlog yet. I literally feel like I've been in the Big Bang Theory the past couple days. I've been socialising with so many people, being an absolute nerd, uh, speaking to other absolute nerds. It's been fun. I presented this morning and I was incredibly nervous, but I think it went well. Yeah, I've officially done my first conference in real life. Yeah, I can't believe I've presented that conference. There's been some really cool talks here. There's like literally hundreds of people at this conference. It's at the Indiana Convention Center, so it's just um, massive. I'm actually going back to it in like 10 minutes. Today is the last day of the conference. There's a couple more talks from a research group that I'm going to attend. Yeah, I haven't really done much in terms of exploring Indianapolis, but we did do a really cool thing last night. We went to a basketball game. A basketball game, who would have thought? Um, we got $5 tickets and it was really cool. We were sitting really high up and we had an amazing view. A big group of like 20 of us went. It was a really cool experience. It was the um, Indiana Pacers versus Orlando Magic, if anyone cares about basketball. So it was the final day in Indianapolis. The conference uh, finishes at like half two. I think we're going to explore some of the city today. Yeah, we fly to Toronto tomorrow. We'll be presenting my research again, but this time instead of a 10 minute talk, it'll be a 20 minute talk anyway i somehow have to have to double the length of my presentation but we'll figure that out but um yeah i better go because there is a couple talks coming up having a good time <laughs>